Hi friends, today is Friday, March 26th. I'm Mike Malcolm, and here's what's coming up at the Church of St. Mary. We're almost there, folks. Palm Sunday is this Sunday. Easter Sunday is the next Sunday. If you look in the Parish Bulletin or on the Church website, you'll find all the dates and times for all the services throughout Holy Week. Don't forget that Easter Sunday, the Masses are a little bit different. There's an 8 o'clock, a 10 o'clock, and a 12 o'clock. Construction continues here at the Church of St. Mary. Most notably, the west entrance is demoed this week. So workers have come in. They're going to remove much of the wall and those double doors that are there in the west entrance. The end goal will be to replace them with a pair of double doors and have that west entrance lead from the vestibule all the way out under a covered walkway to the new parking lot. Stay tuned, I'll keep on taking pictures and putting as much as I can in the bulletin, but a lot on the parish's social media. Thanks for following all that. Also, inside the church, Mike Ziegler from the FC Ziegler Company was out this week to refinish and really resurface parts of the baptismal font over the years, in the past what, 35 years-ish since that baptismal font was first dedicated. There's been a lot of water that's gone through. Mike Ziegler explains that that hydraulic pressure that's there forces a lot of lime or calcium or whatever deposits against the side of the baptismal font. They have ground away all the deposits and then polished the tops and the inside of the baptismal font. Looks great and can't wait for you to see it. Construction outside on the big project, there's some news there. The city of Tulsa has advised us to temporarily halt construction. Has nothing to do with the quality of the work that Nabholtz has done. They've been stellar this whole way. It, there are some administrative issues with our plat. Now a plat, I'm told, is a legal document in a map that shows the building and what's underneath the building, all the city services, uh, sewers, stormwater drains, all those things. And it's a legal document that is of a highly technical nature. Um, we've had to update that to reflect some of the changes that we have done. Matt Bindle and members of our building committee have been stellar at getting these issues addressed. All of them have been addressed. The um, plat has been refiled and we expect to see work resume out there on a major scale early next week. And let's close with a little bit of music from Lyndon Meyer, the Church of St. Mary Choir, and some great musicians that were in our church last week for a Lenten concert. It was absolutely fantastic. And you can listen to it right here, but also you can watch it in full on the parish's YouTube channel or on the church's website. Thank you all. Have a wonderful Palm Sunday, and I will see you sometime soon.